Hello, yes, it's your girl, Queen of Commentary, and we are back with another video. Yes, we will be discussing Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union. It seems like the two are having trouble, and according to these streets, they could be heading to Splitsville. But before we get into it, you know what to do. Thumbs up this video, subscribe if you have not already, cut your notifications on, and leave us a comment. Okay, but you know, before we get into what's going on now, we have to go back down memory lane and see where it all started. Let's get into the video. Just to let you guys know that before we get into the tea, all right, this is all alleged. It is on the rumor streets. It's, you know, speculation. Okay, and that is talking, I'm talking about the divorce rumors and things like that. But I thought it was worth talking about. Okay, so just to let you guys know, they actually met back in 2007 at a sponsored um, Super Bowl event. You know, um, Gabrielle Union was there with her friends and um, Dwayne Wade was actually holding a Bible study. Yes, you heard that correctly, a Bible study. Um, he had a totally different life with his um, then wife, you know, and um, yeah. So they didn't hit it off that day um, because, you know, she was going through a divorce. She was actually married to an athlete, a football athlete at the time. And also, you know, they're nine years apart, you know, which, you know, we usually look at the man being older versus the woman. And that's natural. But when the woman is older, especially nine years older, and the man is younger, you know, that is looked upon as, hmm, it's a little off key. It's not as natural. What do you guys think? Do you think that's a big gap? I do. I think nine years is a huge gap. I think five years is a huge gap. You know, I just feel like, you know, one person is always going to feel like they know everything or they're more mature because they're older. And that, and that you know, that goes both ways for me. Okay. Um, but anyway, she looked past his age and you know they got together they started dating in 2010 or made it official in 2010 and they got married in 2014 they had a nice Miami wedding and they had a you know she had to take on stepmom to his two children that he had with his wife I think I think that's how it went and also his nephew that he had custody over and she had to take on this stepmom role, all right? But, of course, she wanted to be a mom herself. And she actually talked about having issues with getting and having a, you know, having a baby or getting pregnant. And, um, you know, the stress of Hollywood, the stress of having to look a certain way and getting certain parts. You know, she still looks pretty young and her body looks, you know, pretty good, of course, because, you know, but... Um, just having that stress of always, you know, having to look good and having people to look at you, uh, in a beautiful way or whatever, um, could put stress on somebody who wants to have a baby, you know what I mean? And having to take off, you know, and having that healing time and all of that. So anyway, in 2018, they, um, welcomed their daughter, Kavia, um, via surrogate. Okay. Um, another thing. Uh, they've had some stress in their life. They had to basically have a whole movement of having this uh, this rule or law saying that, you know, a person of underage or whatever or a young person can say, hey, they want to change the way they were born. Basically, they want to change their identity on their birth certificate and say that they were born something else. And so after that, um, you really haven't really heard from them in a long time, right? You know, I think their job was done. If you will and things are coming um forth and being uh talked about and revealed and so with that being said you can imagine how that would affect a marriage right marriage is so fragile you know no matter how long you've been married you know uh stress is stress okay so, of course, when this dropped, okay, as far as this, uh, you know, rumors of them uh, getting a divorce or splitting, um, they're trying to shut that down, okay? Just like any other big marriage, you know, they're not as um, popular as Will and Jada, but, you know, eventually things will come to the light. But, of course, if it gets to the public too quickly, 
you know, they try to hush it up and clean it up so people won't think um, that it's true. All right. So in a surprising turn of events, Hollywood power couple Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade have squashed all divorce speculations. The rumor mill had been buzzing with whispers of their marriage hitting rocky shores, but recent heartfelt gestures have put those rumors to rest. It doesn't put it to rest to me. I just feel like they're doing quality control. They're trying to clean things up. Like a lot of big time marriages do in the beginning. They try to say it's not true, right? Like Will and Jada, um, like Marjorie and Steve Harvey. When that big debacle came about, about uh, what is it? Uh, Marjorie uh, sleeping with the chef and the bodyguard. Oh my gosh. Okay. So Um, birthday love, okay? You know, she just basically um, celebrated her 51st birthday. So that would make Dwayne Wade 42. Hmm, Okay. The couple was spotted celebrating together with their children. The actress shared an Instagram post featuring a sweet card from her family signed by their children and Dwayne himself. The message read, here's to creating happy memories. Happy birthday from your family, Kavia, Zaya, Zaire, and Davion and Dad. This heartfelt gesture effectively silence any talk of potential divorce, okay? So they put it on, I mean, look, they're actors, right? That's just what they do. They, they're professionals, you know, they have a whole, uh, you know, gamut, you know, a whole group behind them to basically help them to put this united front out, okay? So we'll just let you know, some things just go out. I don't, it's not like I want them to get divorced. I don't mean, no, I don't ever wish for anyone to get divorced. I don't ever wish for anyone to break their family up. Okay. But what I don't like is to be lied to, you know, we don't want to, even though I don't think we ever looked at Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade as a uh, couple goals because it's some you know, some silly stuff going on with that. You know, I'm sure you guys have heard the rumors about she's more masculine, if you will, (laughs) than he is or whatever. And yeah, and I'm not even going to get into that because this is a what? Family friendly video. Okay. So Dwayne Wade also uh, put in uh, a tribute uh, to her on his uh, Instagram. Okay. Not to be undone, or outdone, Dwayne Wade took to his own um, Instagram account. His birthday tribute included a solo picture of Gabrielle Union, a touching video of their entire family at his Hall of Fame ceremony, and an and a, and adorable drawing by their four-year-old daughter, Kavia. It seems love is very much alive in the Wade household. And they love their family, okay? They love their family. That's just what it is, right? You know, doesn't mean that they're not having problems. I mean, all the things that they're, all the agendas that they have been pushing for the last few years, I just know that it's a lot going on in that marriage. In fact, I was surprised that there were even rumors that them two were getting a divorce because it seems like they're kind of just, you know, united, you know, they're doing what they need to do, they're pressing what they need to press, you know, um, but am I surprised? No, not at all. Not surprised at all that this is becoming a topic. Okay. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that there are problems there? Do you think that they would ever get a divorce? I think it's a business. You know what I mean? Gabrielle Union has been married before. She's a businesswoman. He's a businessman. And I think a lot of these uh, celebrities, they know that together they're worth more. You know what I mean? I don't think there are real, like, marriages anymore. I just, if there were ever real marriages in Hollywood, I really don't think that they're they're real. I think they're business relationships. And as long as, you know, they can, uh, you know, put this front out there and make money and, and make a buzz, why not? All right? So thank you so much for listening, guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you on the next video.